in three, two, one. They are calling him the Tony Stark of Kitchener, Ontario. All right, so before we strap rockets to my body, we're gonna let Tony, the test dummy, take a um, virgin space flight, I guess you could say. So we're gonna modify him a bit. He has this perfect little hole on the, his uh, underside, and we're going to actually pop that hole through his head, and then we can put a long pole so it will really guide him straight up, just in case one of the rockets goes off before the other, and something like this happens. So hopefully that will mean it'll go straight up. Now, the other problem you may have noticed is the arm just fell off. So these are mannequin arms, they're designed to be taken off. If we're attaching the rocket to here, we might have some flying arms going off into space. So we're going to have to also fix this permanently to the main torso of Tony the Mannequin. So, let's get started. So what are we going to use to guide Tony up on his rocket flight? Well, looks like we're going to need some kind of probe. Did someone say probe? Where did you even... No, forget it. Yeah, that'll work. He's beautiful. All right, let's get this arm off. Come on! There we go. All right, uh, just a little bit. Attached to Tony, uh, you can do the modifications so yep, the yep, yep. rail can go all the way through the torso. Oh, I can take care of that. All right. I'm gonna go get you ready. Hey, turn that off. All right, so we've made the uh, launching rod for Tony. This is gonna guide him up on his maiden rocket flight into the stratosphere. And he is ready for action. All right, let's give it a shot. Close enough. Is it? Or no, that's the rail? Okay. Woo! Woo! He's going high. Watch your heads. Woo! Alright, I think we're ready for some rockets. Alright, so we just got our first batch of rockets. So these are G-Class rockets. They put out about 25 pounds of thrust, and they're the largest rocket you can buy without an actual rocket uh, license and certification. Now, I'm really hoping the manufacturer of these rockets doesn't see this video, because I feel like what we're planning on using them for is against their terms of service, and we're going to need to buy a whole bunch more. All right, so. For the uh, test flight, we're going to have to mount this rocket inside of Tony's arm somehow. So we're going to have to figure that out, but before we do that, let's ignite one of these and see how it goes. James might be right with dying, but I'm not, so I'm going to make a large ignition wire so I don't have to be anywhere near it when it goes off. So this is the electric fuse. Current is passed through here and the filaments in here burns up, setting off the rocket. So this is my battery pack and ignition switch. Hit the switch, current flows, fuse goes off, James goes boom. So we picked a nice wet day and I don't know if you can hear that, but the ground is pretty swampy so we shouldn't have any fire concerns. We're out here in the middle of the countryside, far outside of city limits, so no legal issues there. And uh, yeah, we're ready to test. All right, so for the first test, we're just going to blast off one of these rockets so we can see exactly how it works and um, before I actually hang on to it and whatnot. Yeah, it's pretty solid. 
Make sure the battery's off, Ian. That should be good. All right, so you might be wondering why, why do we have the rocket aiming down on the ground right now? This is just so we can actually evaluate the plume of the uh, rocket engine to see how much, like what kind of angle does it come out at? Because if, we're, if I'm gonna hold it off of my hands, is it gonna hit my legs? So this is just the very first test to see what that looks like. So let's back up to the safe distance of about 30 feet and launch this thing. All right, so um, first rocket ignition was a success. It's actually got a pretty narrow cone, which is good. I'm not gonna burn my legs off, but we are gonna need those Kevlar pants for sure. Um, let's move on to actually trying to launch this while holding onto it and see what it's like. So, next test. Three, two, one, ignition. That's so cool. All right, so that was a pretty successful first rocket ignition test. The next big test we're gonna do is with Tony the mannequin. And then, once we've done that one, we're gonna start working on the wrist-mounted rocket system for the actual big flight test. So stay tuned, next video will be out probably about next week and uh, hope you enjoy the video.